Hi everyone. This video is a response to another video that I did quite some time ago for, sh I think it was either for playing on your violin's G string or for short players with short arms playing violin or both playing on the G string with short arms. Um, and what I had uh, suggested in that video is that when you have extensive passages on the G string, you can actually drop your violin down. You move your chin to the left and you move your shoulder rest down a little bit on your shoulder. What this does is it tilts the G string up a little bit. It it prevents you from having to strain too much with your left arm to get around to the G string. It also makes it easier for your bow hand. Um, so people just couldn't understand how that could happen in the middle of playing. So there are several scenarios when you're playing. There's a scenario where you have a rest before you have to play, and that's the ideal scenario because then you can simply move to your position, play your little G-string passage, and then you have a rest afterwards, and you can take your bow hand and bump your violin back into position, and you're ready to proceed in normal registers of playing. That's the ideal situation. Other scenarios would be um, where you don't have to play in on the G-string for an extended period, and so, and you don't have time to make a big production out of it. So there's another little quick fix you can use, which is just to shrug your shoulder up and forward a little bit, which kind of puts your violin at that same angle that moving it puts it at. So this is a really good temporary fast way to accommodate your G-string, especially for short arms. Maybe you have just a very quick run up the G-string and it comes after a bunch of technical stuff you're playing elsewhere and you don't have time to switch your violin position. <laughs> shrugged and then I unshrugged. Okay, the third scenario is where you do have an extended period on the G-string but you didn't have time to prepare the position and you don't have time to recover from that position and that's what I'm going to show you mostly in this video is um, a couple of methods that you can use to get from G-string position to E-string position without taking extra time and without disrupting your playing. So let's watch that demonstration now. I just played recently the Light Cavalry Overture with the orchestra that I play with and so and that provides a, a perfect example of this other technique where you switch your violin to a slightly lower position on your shoulder for an extended period. Hopefully, between this camera and that one, it will capture what I'm doing. I'm obeying the Boeings that were given to me. <laughs> They're not my favorite, but um, that's gonna be my excuse, and I'm gonna stick with it. So this is like page two of the Light Cavalry Overture. It starts out with the ricochet Boeing. And then lots of tremolos. I play the bottom in my orchestra. My posture is normal and has been normal for that page. But then we have the andante con moto and its G string. So, and there's a rest before that. Did you see that? I went from normal and I moved it maybe a half an inch. And so we play.
cetera. I'll just keep going. and I take my middle finger and bump my violin back up into place. Okay, now just let me show you what it would look like if I didn't have rests to assist me in that switcheroo. So I'm just gonna play random notes. It's not gonna be lovely, but it will show you how you can switch from Literally, my chin has moved clear into the other far side of my chin rest. So, over. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be showing you this. So you can, you can walk, crawl, you can creepy crawl, you can give a sudden bump to put you in, put in back into E string position. You can use your left hand to throw your violin down, or you can use the quick fix of the, the shrugged shoulder. So I hope this doesn't make you to blow up with me making this suggestion. I welcome feedback uh, of both types, and let's have a uh, healthy debate on whether this is a good idea or not. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.